Okay, so let's see if you can find the sum of the measures of the angles of an octagon. And if you don't know what an octagon is, well, this is a basic sketch of an octagon. It is an eight-sided polygon. And the measures we're talking about here are the interior angles. Okay, so we want to add up and find the sum of all the interior angles of this octagon. All right, now there is a formula that you really do need in order to figure this problem out. But it is possible that some of you can actually reverse engineer and figure out this formula and then, of course, get the right answer. But if you know the right answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct solution and, of course, we'll walk through this formula and how to answer this question. This is not that difficult. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so again, we're looking for the sum of the measures of the interior angles of an octagon. And uh, this is what an octagon looks, uh, looks like. Uh, we're dealing with what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. So it's an eight-sided polygon. And now let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. Again, there is a formula. And if you don't have that formula, if you didn't figure this answer out, don't feel bad. But if you were able to, this is the correct answer. All right, so uh, 1,080 degrees is the sum of the interior angles of an octagon. All right, now, if you got this right, that is fantastic. Matter of fact, I have to give you a nice little happy face. Let me fix this happy face up. That was kind of a bad happy face. This one, I think, is a little bit better. But there's your happy face. There's your A+. Plus. There is your 100% and multiple stars. So you could tell your friends and family that, indeed, you know how to figure out the sum of the interior angles of a polygon, okay? Because the formula that we're going to need here has to deal with polygons. And what is the first polygon that you deal, uh, that we have okay, in terms of the number of sides? Well, if you know the answer to that question, go ahead and put that into the comment section. But uh, if you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm totally confused. What is this formula? Well, we're, uh, we're going to get to that formula in just one second. But let's go ahead and answer this other question that I just said is that when we talk about polygons, the first uh, polygon that you study is a triangle, okay? Because a polygon is constructed of sides and it's a closed figure. So we're going to have a tough time closing just two sides, right? And the sides we're talking about are line segments and polygons in general are a pretty big topic in uh, course geometry, but I think pretty much everyone has seen a triangle and has seen a square. So the first polygon, again, that we can construct has three sides and then we can make all kinds of polygons from there and again what we're doing is we're closing in line segments right so if we take these line segments and try to close them in well the first uh, one that we can construct is a triangle and then we can make squares uh, pentagons hexagons octagons etc etc all right so we have a three-sided uh, polygon which of course is a triangle and here is a four-sided uh, polygon which is a square or a rectangle or some other quadrilateral, right? So we have all these terms and stuff about various types of polygons. But my question to you is the following. What is the sum of the angles in a triangle? Hopefully you know the answer to this, and I'm going to give you it uh, right now. It's 180 degrees, okay? So 180 degrees is the sum of the angles in any triangle. Now let's talk about a square or a rectangle. What is the sum of the angles of, let's suppose this is a square, so we'll make these all 90 degree angles. So if you said 360 degrees, you would be right. Okay, so uh, these are two big clues. Okay, so what I want you to think about and what I'm trying to do here is give you a chance to figure out this formula. Now, it may not be all that simple, but there is a relationship between the number of sides uh, and the sum of the measure of the interior angles. So if a polygon has three sides, well, the sum of the angles, uh, the uh, sum of the interior angles is 180 degrees. If a polygon has four sides, the sum of the angles is 360 degrees. So these are two big clues uh, for you to figure out the pattern uh, so we can, of course, answer the question, 
uh, how, what is the sum of the angles in an octagon. Okay, so let's go ahead and just take a look at the formula because um, a lot of you, you know, may struggle figuring this out. Eventually, you probably could figure it out, but here it is. So when you want to find the sum of the measures of the interior angle of a polygon, uh, here is the formula. So N represents the number of sides in our particular polygon. So it's pretty straightforward. It's parentheses N minus 2 times uh, uh, N parentheses times 180. Okay, so this is the formula. And this is something that you may want to consider putting in your long-term memory if you are going to uh, be studying math. You know, of course, beyond algebra, you're going to see this formula. Okay, so n minus 2 times 180 gives us the sum of the interior angles of a polygon. And let's go ahead and see uh, how this works with our triangle and square. Okay, so we already know, right, that the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees and the sum of the angles uh, in a quadrilateral or square rectangle is 360 degrees. So let's go ahead and just uh, use this formula. Let's act as if we didn't know the right answer. Okay, so here is our polygon. How many sides does it have? Well, it has three sides, so n is equal to three. So we're gonna plug in for this n a three. And in this particular example, of course, we're gonna make n is equal to four. And let's go to do this basic math right now so we can see that indeed this formula works. All right, so for a triangle, it has three sides, so it's gonna be three minus two times 180. 3 minus 2, of course, is 1. 1 times 180 is 180 degrees, and voila, it works. All right, so how about our quadrilateral or square rectangle? Well, n is 4, 4 sides, so that's going to be n minus 2, or 4 minus 2, or 2 times 180 degrees, which, of course, is 360 degrees. Okay, so that is the formula. Now, if you were able to figure this out, or some sort of version of it, or you, you were getting kind of close, that is fantastic. Okay, so now that we know the formula, this problem is pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and uh, set you up for success. So here is our polygon, right? So let's suppose I just gave you this figure and I said, find the sum of the interior angles of this thing. So you would have to count, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So N is equal to eight. All right, so why don't you go ahead and do the number crunching here just so you can be confident on how to use this formula. But let's go ahead and take the next step, which of course is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel before we finish this uh, lovely, little, uh, lovely little problem up. Now, in mathematics, there are a ton of formulas, okay? Obviously, we're looking at one particular formula, but uh, there is a lot to know and a lot to remember. And, you know, oftentimes it can just be overwhelming. And if you're overwhelmed with learning math, well, what you're going to have to do is get some help. You see, I'm not afraid to ask for your help to say, hey, can you help me grow my YouTube channel so I can reach more people by subscribing? See, I'm asking you for help or for support. And if you are a math student, you need to find the right help and support. Okay. But here's the deal. You know, you're not just going to learn this math all, you know, all by itself. You're going to have to work hard to get this material, you know, to get the skills, but you can do it. So please don't give up. Now, if you need help beyond this video in geometry, algebra, whatever the case is, my best help is always going to be my full instruction math courses. You can find links to all those in the description. Also, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel, and I'm posting all the time. That's why you have to make sure to hit that notification bell so you can get my latest videos. Okay, so let's go back and uh, finish this problem up now that we know the formula. Pretty easy now. So we have an eight-sided polygon, which, of course, is an octagon. So to find the sum of the interior angles of this octagon, all I have to do is plug in how many sides it has. Of course, by definition, it has eight sides. So we're going to replace this N with eight and just do the number crunching. So eight minus two is six and six times 180 is 1080 degrees. Okay, so that is that. You know, oftentimes in math, a lot of things seem more difficult than they actually are. You do need these formulas. And there, again, there are a ton of formulas and it's impossible to remember all these formulas. Even I don't remember all these formulas and I've been doing this for decades. But there are certain uh, things and certain formulas in math that should go into your long-term memory, okay? And the only way you're gonna uh, know that, I would put this like long-term memory and then this, uh, this column over here, 
I would be like, this is stuff that you would have in your notes. So the majority of things you learn in math all the way through, you know, let's say even calculus, you can have massive amounts of information thrown at you. You know, this is stuff that you have, you know, you write stuff down, you, you know, you reference. So don't ever feel bad if you don't remember a particular formula. Of course, you need to know how to go, you know, you need to know that, hey, there is a formula for that. And let me go reference and get that formula. Okay, yeah, you need that part. But then there's other things uh, that should kind of be in your long-term memory. Thing, things like, you know, the area of a circle or rate times time is equal to distance. There are a certain group of formulas that you just use over and over again in math that should kind of go into your long-term memory. But, of course, uh, you'll get better at all of this as you get more experience in mathematics. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.